Welcome back, folks. This is our man, Mr. Bud Rolfs, right there, the channel master extraordinaire. Uh, bottom line, folks, unfortunately, Bud passed away September 10th um, after battling leukemia. Uh, he was surrounded by his wife, his two children when he passed. I just want to read a little bit about Bud because he was an amazing person. So he was born in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, December 6, 1951. He was one of three children of the late Walter A. and Mary A. Uh, Rolfs. During his youth, Bud resided with his family in Mountjoy, Pennsylvania. He graduated from Dongle High School in 1969. Now check this out, folks. With acceptances to the Merchant Marine Academy, the United States Coast Guard Academy, and the United States Military Academy. Bottom line, he attended the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he established a lifelong brotherhood with several of his classmates, and on June 6, 1973, he graduated. He served with the Army from 1973 to 1978, and had been stationed at Fort Riley, Kansas, with headquarters 36 Field Artillery, 1st first Infantry Division, and held the rank of captain. After his honorable discharge, Bud later continued his education at River College, now Riviera College in Nashville, where he earned his MBA and then successfully completed an executive development program from Cornell University, New York, in 1986. In his leisure time, Bud enjoyed fishing, writing beautiful poetry, and reading and educating others on the Bible. He was an avid sports fan. He loved watching football, whether it was Army, Navy, NFL games, or his son and later grandson's high school football games. He loved spending time with his family and adored quality time with his magnificent seven grandchildren. He loved traveling, including leisure drives to the main coastline of the Big Island Adventures to the Bahamas, one of his favorite island destinations. Okay, let's play this video. We have a prize for everyone out here. Including ourselves. Including ourselves. We got the channel master, the channel master of the world of the TFNN. You got That's a lot. Right, we man. got our man, Mr. Bud Rolfs. Bud, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom and Tommy, two of my favorite people in the whole Bud world. Bud Rolfs, what's happening, oh, man? I love so that good. voice, man. Totally. <laughs> the, the tiger's you know, den's I, going wild, I, uh, but the tigers and tigresses are going wild in the trading room. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think anybody would remember me down there, Tommy, oh, after all this time. You're ingrained you in everybody's me? head, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how you been, man? Well, uh, you know, uh, I have been uh, suffering through a lot of health problems over the years and stuff like that, but I think I got a lot of that under control at this point. God has blessed me with a, uh, with so many uh, wonderful things, seven grandchildren, yeah. the, last th the last three of which were triplets. I know. And, oh, man. And uh, they're uh, seven years old now. I was going to so say, I remember flies. those baby pictures, man. Seven years old now. Wow. Yeah, they are. And... Uh, my oldest is just starting to drive, uh, Megan, and uh, <laughs> it, it just, you know, you can't believe how time goes by. I know, man. Unbelievable. That is really unbelievable. So you, your oldest is 16 now, the oldest grandchild, right? Yes, yes, uh, Megan. Yep. Oh, my and, God. Uh, right. It won't be long before she's going to college, Tom. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful it thing. It just seems like yesterday when my kids were going to college. Yeah, and, and, and it was. <laughs> I'll tell but you, yeah, man. I, I uh, stopped by. I looked at the website a bunch of times and stuff. I can't believe what you guys have done with it. Uh, Tiger TV and the presentation is so professional. And uh, Tommy Jr., I got to tell you, you are slick on the air. Listen no to you. You are a slickster yourself, that. bud. <laughs> Thank I'm you, man. I'm telling you, you are, you are a star, Tommy. Listen to Bud. No doubt. For everybody that doesn't know Joy Annette, Bud was a star on TFN, is a star. For, Wait, man, what? a solid decade, 15 years, time is crazy when it goes. You know, everyone's clamoring for your poems, Bud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for my poems? Yeah! The poetry yeah. sessions, yeah. man. Yeah! Yeah, man. Yeah. They yeah, kick off those I, I holidays. Still write them, uh, I, I uh, still write them for uh, holidays and different occasions. Uh, you know, whatever strikes me uh, as, a, as something worth uh, writing about. That's awesome, man. And how is Nancy doing? Nancy is fine. Uh, God bless her. We've been together now 46 years, Tom. So cool, man. And, uh, you know, I, the, I always tell the story that I went to West Point, and you can't be married at West Point. And uh, Nancy and I met there, and uh, we started, uh, we found love at first sight. And uh, 
uh, we couldn't get married, so I had to wait till after graduation. So I graduated on June 6, 1973. We got married on June 17, 1973, <laughs> and the only mistake I made was I wasted 11 days. <laughs> That's awesome. I love that story. I know. Yeah. It, it is so cool, man. It is so cool. Yeah. Hey, so, so let, me, let me ask you something. Every time I'm bringing up a biotech, man, you know, we talk about it, you're on the air. Are you still hunting these biotechs? Well, I'm I'm in uh, to the one that I got. There, Tom, you won't believe this, but uh, there's a stock called Sarepta, S R P T, and uh, they do uh, uh, gene uh, therapies, uh, uh, particularly on uh, muscular dystrophy. Yeah. And and I came across this stock way back when I was at TFNN, and I bought it for under a buck. Oh, oh my man. God! And folks, yeah. it's a hundred and twenty-one dollar stock right now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm telling you, you can actively trade this. You can hold a long position. It's a great stock. Uh, folks, this stock is going over 200 bucks. I'll tell you that right now. So That gene uh, therapy is so cool in terms of the revolutionary look, things that they're doing. You now. know, but I just brought back, I just get the, look uh, at that. the revenue, right? So check this out, folks. In 2015, they took in a million dollars. In 2019, 395 million. Not bad. Yeah, that's, wow. And so they, let's, let's see, so RNA and what, what so what, a rare yeah. and infectious diseases, right? So what's yeah, this? and they focus on muscular dystrophy. Oh, which and, is uh, huge. Okay, right, right. Yeah, and uh, they, there is no uh, cure for muscular dystrophy. And uh, what happens in muscular dystrophy is you lack a certain protein in your genetic structure, and you can't make the thing that makes your muscles work, okay? Okay. Uh, the secret sauce there. And uh, what they've done is been able to counter that uh, genetically and, uh, and cause the genes to begin to express that protein, and kids that have muscular dystrophy now suddenly can get out of their wheelchairs and walk. Wow, that's cool. Just, that's pretty it, intense. Just unbelievable. That is unbelievable. And usually kids with MD, it hits boys uh, almost exclusively, but uh, usually those kids uh, die by about 20, 25 years old. Wow. And they're in wheelchairs by age 10. And uh, so this is a, a, a drug that uh, is, is just a miracle. And it's right in Cambridge, Mass. I was going to say, right? Yeah. 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 Well, so I've been into that heavily for years, and I've gotten a lot of people into it. So good, nice. obviously, that's I'm popular in those circles. I, I <laughs> bet, man. <laughs> this, yeah, slightly right. Making friends left and right. I'm yeah, sure. I mean, you know, you, you can bring this back even to 2016, folks. It was an eight dollar stock. Amazing. I mean, it's just pretty wild. No yeah. doubt about it. Yeah. So you, you you're coming into the spring up there. Yeah. How's beautiful yeah. Nashua? Oh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, we have just about gotten rid of all of our snow. <laughs> it's April, perfect. If that, makes, if that makes any sense to you folks down in Florida. <laughs> we hear about it. <laughs> That's and I heard you guys moved to a new headquarters, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, it's awesome. It's yeah. Like we got a uh -huh. studio on one floor, and then we got the offices on another floor. And Well, we have some, have some both floors, but, yeah, it's pretty neat. It's Well, you live in the most beautiful part of the world, that's for sure. Yeah. There's, listen, man. Very uh, lucky. By the last, like, what, six weeks have been, like, beautiful. I I just, it's hard to comprehend, This is man. This is our yeah. time of the year, this man. Is, you know, yeah. it is. Bracing yeah. for yeah. heat. And you guys are still fishing, I assume, once in a while? Are you fishing? I haven't I been out <laughs> enough. No, I haven't been out enough. I've, uh, I, I gotta, no? I got to stop. You used to go out and catch those big wahoo, didn't you? I, well, we, we caught a couple. Right? Not, yeah, we, we did. We, we need to we catch ate more. those raw. I know. <laughs> that, that, was, that was a good deal. I know. I keep saying I'm going to do it. I just got to do it. I just got to do it. I just got to do it. I know. Well. It's, to do what you do, as well as you do it, the two of you, to get to work together with father and son, and to hang around with the tigers and tigresses of TFNN, the best people in the world. No, I am no. telling you, I have, I've been all over the world time, I've talked to all kinds of folks, gotten to mingle with all kinds of crowds, and the TFNN folks are the classiest bunch. I've ever come across. Yeah. Greatest people. Uh, you're well, the best too, bud. I miss no, your totally. show, man. Yeah, I know. So many days I was in front of that board running Bud's show, man, listening right. to that great program, right. man. I, oh, I remember that. It was awesome. You gotta love yeah, it. Yeah, but you used to have, to, my bumper music had to be Sinatra. That was the key. That That's was, right. That was made the no whole show. No messing around, baby. I love it. The good stuff. <laughs> I love it.
Well, listen. All right, well, look, I didn't want to hold you guys up, but I just wanted to this call is... in as a, uh, a, an alumni and a proud uh, Tiger and tell you that you are still the greatest, Tommy and uh, Tom O'Brien. Uh, you can't go wrong with these two folks. Hey, li listen, bud, this is awesome. One of the Tigers, he's saying from the training and the, and the Master Training Series, bud, he still has yep. the TFNN Master Training jacket from your, your Master okay. Trader. Oh, wow. Love That's you, man. Fantastic. Love you, bud. Thanks Made so much our for day, calling. man. Hey, God bless you guys. Take care. God bless, bless you. you too, man. Love you. That was awesome. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Now, that was from April of 2019, folks. And as you are wow, watching Tiger TV, uh, bottom line is that he's talking about that equity that he got into and got Tigers into at less than a dollar. And, you know, bottom line, he was looking for 200. Well, he got pretty close. It went to $181.83, folks. Okay. So you're going to love that. Now, what we're going to do. I'm going to read one of his poems because he was definitely the master. He was the master of just so many things in life. A Memorial Day poem by Bud Rolfs. So what will you do on Memorial Day? Maybe you go to the mall if your wife has her way. Maybe fill up the pool so the kids can get a thrill. Or spend the day cooking on your barbecue grill. You could go to a ball game or take in a movie. How about sneaking a nap? Now that sounds really groovy. Do whatever you want. It's okay, don't you see? It's okay, because this country is the land of the free. Thanks to long-ago long courage at the twilight's last gleaming, it's okay that you're spending your weekend daydreaming. It was barefooted soldiers in the valley forged snow that gave you the freedom to choose where you to go. If Adams and Jefferson had not heard their calls, do you think you'd, go, you'd have ball games, movies, and malls? If so many brave soldiers had not made their choices, could you still go to Fenway and hear those fans' voices? And if no one had showed up to take Omaha Beach, would your old family Bible still be within reach? Can you see those firemen running toward the towers and their windows left open with memories and flowers? See, for most of us, sadly, each Memorial Day is just a time to party, not remember and pray. Prayers of thanks to those patriots who came long before us and who sing to us now from the heavenly chorus. It's because of some choices they made centuries past that our country's still great and our freedom still last. So perhaps at the beach, you'll take time to remember a place called Pearl Harbor on an ancient December. Or you might take a moment when the ball game is done to think of the courage it took at Bull Run. See, whatever you do, it could never repay what so many have chosen on some long ago day. When their service was needed, they gave their full measures to give you the freedom to choose your own pleasures. So will you make any time for the holiday spot to thank those who gave you all the freedoms you've got? So what will you do on Memorial Day? I think I'll take some time, give thanks, and to pray. That's our man, Mr. Bud Rolfs, folks. And what we are gonna do, um, we're gonna finish this program. I'm going to go on with the program. We're going to finish this program. You know, you heard him when he was talking with, with Tommy about, uh, and so Tommy at this point when he was saying, that, you know, the, they were talking about the aspect of Tommy at the board. And so what it ended up, ha what had happened folks is that we had a radio station up in Nashua. That's where I had met Bud. Okay. And the bottom line, Tommy <laughs> ran the station. You talk about work this. So this is a 24 hour station. We had uh, financials all day. We had sports all night. We had the Patriots. We had everyone. The, <laughs> Tommy used to have to open this. I had a full newsroom, man. I mean, it was insane. But anyway, Tommy used to have to open that place up, get everything going at 6 o'clock in the morning. And, of course, him and Bud, you know, the bottom line, of course, they were always talking because Tommy was running the whole place. So, listen, we love you, Bud. We'll always remember you, Bud. And you're going to go down on history as the channel master. There's no two ways about that, Okay. Um, and when we finish uh, this program off, I'm gonna, we're going to do uh, uh, a Sinatra song, you know, for a tribute to our man, Mr. Bud Rolfs. That's right. It's a beautiful thing. And, you know, he's just an amazing man.